Hello guys, welcome to tutorial 3. In this tutorial I will be showing you how to create a successful safe room. Safe rooms can be very complicated but must be done with care. If we open up our old hammer and load up our map, I have edited and created a new room just with two opening doors. I would be able to expect you to do this by now as tutorial 1 tell you the basics. So, first things first, we need a door. So if we go to the entirety tool and click anywhere on the floor, double click the entirety and write in prop underscore door underscore rotating underscore checkpoint and click apply. Go to world model and go down to prop underscore doors. Now we need to find the right door, which could be any. So just go with the best one which you think is right. Which the right one for this is that one. Checkpoint door dash two. Static. So if we click apply, we have our door. So now we just need to align it up with the rest. Right. So if we just put it in and get it dead on right so there we go we have a door but remember to be 100% patient with hammer because it has to be perfect the cats will make the map look sloppy and not as good as it should be so there we go there's a safe room door once we go inside, this is the other door which you may use for leaving if there is a second map. So same again, prop underscore static this time though, because you're not going to be able to open the door. World model, browse, and find the right door. The right door for this is checkpoint door 01 static. Click apply, and once again, put it in place so remember to take your time because like I said the sloppiness of a map does ruin it so just take your time as you can see I have a black thing put in the way this is so you can't glitch the map I have a a black, just a normal textured thing behind the door, which will sort it out. So, once you have the doors fitted in, you need to create a info and score landmark. So, click the entirety tool and click in the middle of the safe room. Double click it and write info underscore landmark. This, this is a normal thing. So, write in the name landmark 01. Well, you can write anything, but I'm just going to write landmark or one for now. So once that is secure in the middle, now we just need to make a trigger. So I want you to click the wall, the block tool, and draw through the whole of your safe room. So from the start to the door. I want you to use the texture trigger so write in filter trigger and you'll get the trigger so now if you go just out the wall you will be able to see the trigger if you see I haven't done it properly so I'm just gonna make it bigger now Now there should be a trigger here somewhere, but it doesn't, oh there it is, right, I haven't put it high enough. Here we go, I'm just going to put it all the way up to the speeder. And I'm going to adjust it so it's not going through the walls so much, so it looks a bit neat from the outside. 
there we go. Right, now I need you to double click on the trigger and click Control T. Just Control T. And write in info and just go change level. Apply. You don't have to name this, but you can if you want. So I'm just going to name it Safe Room. You don't need to name it. Now I'm going to go to new map name, and this is what, once you close the safe door, this is the level it will take you to. So if there was going to be a second part of the level, name it that. For example, this is Left 4 Dead Tutorial. I'm going to call this Left 4 Dead and score Tutorial 2. Um, then you need to click Landmark Name. And that's what we called it before, which is Landmark 01. Remember, if, the, if you're just making a one map Left 4 Dead, then just make up the name. It doesn't matter. But don't put the same name as you got for this map. Otherwise, you'll have errors. Okay, so click Apply and Cancel. So that is pretty much your safe room. So if you save now, it should be 100% done. And you should have no errors once you do all the nav editing, which is on tutorial follow. Hope you enjoy. Good luck with your mapping. Thanks.